Okay, what we have here is Port Noise Complaint by Philip Roth. Now, of course, this is one of those legendary books that are a bit overhyped, you know. Uh, essentially, there's this guy, Portnoy, who goes to his psychiatrist and uh, it's just this guy talking to his psychiatrist and he just keeps on going, like, he keeps telling him, this guy his darkest secrets and his sexual fantasies and it's like, I don't know about this book, I mean, it's not badly written, okay, it's enjoyable. It's not just some hack job. It, it has its interesting points here and there, okay? I've read some Philip Roth. Uh, you know, he's not a third-rate writer. But this book is just... It's like, I get it, bro. You like to jack off in the bathroom while, while your family is downstairs at dinner. I'm like... Chill the fuck out, okay? There's nothing that severe. I get that this was... This takes place in, a, in another time where... Uh, something like this, even mentioning something like this, it was... A taboo, right? And, you know... The protagonist is presented as this edgy... perverse, uh, bold, I don't know what you call it, uh, a renegade, rebellious youth, whatever. It's like, bro, calm down. You'll get older. You'll realize how, not necessar necessarily dumb you are, but you'll, you'll look back on your late teens, early 20s, even 30s and you're just gonna shake your head like what the fuck was I doing okay it wasn't that serious it was a bit embarrassing okay. Portnoy is a bit embarrassing because he's not that young anymore and he takes what he does like it's something uh, to be proud of and it's not, it's it's not that serious, bro. Calm down, stop paying so much money to go through the therapist to talk about your personal, private, trivial nonsense. Nobody cares, all right? Stop wasting your money on just so you can have somebody to listen to your uh, filthy garbage almost. Okay, what he does and his youth is not that uh, out of the ordinary for a young boy, right? I don't understand why this is so legendary. I mean, fine. Uh, there's this uh, niche, this... Uh, it's something new, but it keeps getting old as you read it. It's like, okay, I get it, I get it. You like to jack off, whatever. Whatever. Move on, bro. It's not that serious. And stop talking about it, because I don't want to hear this, and neither does your therapist. It's, uh... I don't know. I really don't have a lot to say about this. It's just one of those books, like... A bit overhyped, but it's not necessarily bad. It's just the subject matter, after a while, it just keeps dragging on, like... Uh, we get it, we get it, stop talking, bro. It's like those people that, you know, just have a couple of life experiences that are banal, and they just keep, keep repeating it. It's like, remember that time when we went to the store and we saw some shit? It's like, bro, move on, move on. Everybody has moved on but you. Why are you so obsessed with this? 
Nobody cares. Nobody nobody even remembers. All right? It's only you. Do something with your life. Live a better life. Do something. Occupy your life. Find the purpose. Nobody cares that you jacked off or that you have fantasies. I don't I don't care. But anyway, that's Portnoy's complaint. Complaint. And he's uh I don't know, he's weird. But even the weird aspect is banal. Mediocre. It's like some dude that keeps on making excuses. There are so many people like this everywhere. I mean, millennials are the same. I mean, I see no difference here. It's like not even millennials, people in general. Like, they just want to talk about themselves. Unfortunately, most people, young or older, they don't have they don't have a lot to say. Not only about this themselves, but about life or anything else in general. Anyway, you should read this book because it has its funny side. It's funny in parts. And that's that makes it enjoyable. Of course, it's not a classic. I'm not going to reread this and be wowed. I wasn't wowed the first time. This could have been better. I mean... What else is there to say? Maybe I should give a little advice to Portnoy. Is uh, don't take yourself and life too seriously, bro. Just, 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 just live. Just live. Get older, and maybe you'll realize that all of this nonsense that you that you're taking so seriously that you you, you obsess over maybe they're not that complex maybe they're not that serious maybe they're not that um dire just take it easy take it easy uh, uh, this could be applied to anyone just take it easy don't take yourself too seriously like pornoy does Because you might find yourself in the realm of being ridiculous, pathetic, meek, puny. And it's a sign of weakness, both especially mental weakness. Where you just have to tell your darkest secrets that are lame as hell. It's not that important. It's not interesting, Portnoy. That's what I would have told him as his ther- as his therapist. It's like, listen, bro, just 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 find something in your life that that means something to you. This all of your little petty problems they're they're nothing, all right. And a lot of people they don't get to hear these very important words. They just, they just are allowed to focus on nonsense, especially on themselves. Listen, listen, listen. Life keeps on going whether you're here or not. And even if you're gone, people in life will just move on. So the most important thing is not to waste your time, I guess. But even, even if you waste your time... It's, uh, it's not that important or critical or urgent to tell that everybody because everybody has things to do and usually if you're if you're perceptive you kind of get that they don't really care about you but just like portnoy he thinks that he is the central the the center of attention he never really kind of just sits back and just uh, looks at himself and he never comes to the conclusion that maybe Jesus, maybe I'm a bit a blabbermouth. Maybe I should uh, hold my tongue. I'm ridiculous right now. 
he doesn't uh, he doesn't uh, see this aspect of himself like you're ridiculous bro what you're saying is nonsense you're paying for somebody to listen to your nonsense trivial uh, mindless garbage and Jesus a lot of people I was like this I thought I was and a lot of people they think they are it but they're not okay please calm down poor noy you'll get older and maybe you'll conclude that what you did as a youth was embarrassing it's shameful right we can only hope that maybe this book kind of maybe does the impossible in which it shows younger people and even older people that they are and they were embarrassing back in the day and that is that is a great thing to do as a book